Welcome everyone. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a 45 degree angle cut on your object. So again, remember I have a generic object here and you'll want to use the measurements from your design brief instead of the generic ones that I use here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a sketch. And if you're not there, you click on sketch and then click the down arrow here and click sketch, select the surface. And again, you can choose any surface that you want. Uh, I've just been working on this one right here to simplify things. So I will do that again. And I will click on this surface right here to select that surface. And once I have done that, you may want to, I've not shown this before, but you may want to use the dynamic rotation right here, or I'm sorry, the view orientation right here. And this allows you to look directly at this face. And once you've done that, what I would do is just use the line tool and wherever you want to draw this, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to start down here in the, uh, in the lower right hand corner and I'm going to draw I'm simply going to draw a triangle and then I'm going to make sure it connects all the way and then I'm going to go to smart dimension and I'm going to select the length of one side and let's say I want to make that a quarter of an inch I can do that and let's say that I want to make this um, actually I'm gonna do them I'm gonna do the angle next just to show that so I'm gonna go to smart dimension and then smart dimension again and I'm going to when the dimension tool is ready and my computer isn't lagging, there we go, we'll try it again. I'm going to click on this line, then I'm going to click on this line, and if I come out here, notice it tells me right now it's 28 degrees, so I'm going to change that to 45 degrees, 45 degree angle, and there we go. And now by definition, I know that because it's a 45 degree angle, all sides of the triangle have to be the same, so I actually don't need to dimension the rest of them. So that's a nice way to get a, a really even triangle. And then the last step, of course, is going to be to exit the sketch, and then you're going to go to feature, back to features, and then you're going to go to extruded cut, and you're going to select this surface right here, and you're going to choose through all. Now, this is going to be a little bit weird because I'm in this view. I'm going to hit here. It's going to look like nothing happens for just a second, but I can also see right here now that it has cut all the way through. Uh, so that shows me that the object has cut all the way through. And then, of course, you can go back and look at that by rotating around or by using the dynamic view right here. That's lagging for me a little bit, so I'm going to stop right there, but you see how that works. If you have any questions on that, let me know.